Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. I hope you're having just a great week so far with our three kids having three totally different spring breaks over this year. It has been hard to plan any kind of family time together. Thankfully, though, we were able to get away uh, last couple days of last week and some of this weekend to North Myrtle Beach. And man, I grew up in North Myrtle, and it was great being back around so many familiar places and familiar things. And now a lot of it's changed, right, over the years. I'm not as young as I once was, but we were able to, to go and grab pizza at King's, which is one of my favorite favorite places to go since I was a kid. We were just a block off Main Street where we were staying, so I was able to walk up and down that street and remember some great times I had um, as a kid there. The Bible study that I'm doing with some of my F3 guys, it brought up a really fun word while I was in Myrtle Beach that I've used for most of my life, and that word is poser, right? The devotion went into this big, long explanation of what a poser is, but growing up surfing, man, I knew exactly what a poser was. He's the guy that shows up on the beach with a brand new top-of-the-line surfboard with no wax on it whatsoever. The nicest wetsuit or board shorts from the surf shop with a tag still on them and all the freshest surf gear, but the guy has never even paddled out. Now, nothing wrong with getting started in a sport, but most of the time that poser's gonna show up with all the new gear. He'd also come with a new rotten attitude as well. Like he was a pro because of all the gear that he had on. Now it was easy to spot a poser as they walked over the sand dunes growing up. Being back on my home beach made me remember a lot of those times and just the laughs that we had. I think it's awesome how God brought that devotion to me while I was staying in Myrtle Beach. Now, of course, the devotion wasn't talking about posers on the beach and surfing, right? It was talking about people that are posers in life. And guys, honestly, we're all posers in some area of our life. They are the people that that act like we have it all together and then all the answers, when in reality, they're scared to death for others to realize just how busted they are. Newsflash, we're all busted. But instead of owning that and trying to be more Christ-like through those times, there are posers who put on all the gear and they want everyone outside to think that they're squared away, when in reality, guys, they're far from it and they're so scared they don't know what to do. Posing started all the way back in the garden, as a matter of fact. The first piece of clothing that we see in history, it was a leaf after Adam and Eve fell. They were trying to look like they had it all together, and the very fact that they were using the leaf was proof that they didn't have it all together. So how can we be sure that we aren't posers in in, in areas of our lives? Honesty with other believers and transparency in our lives is a great place to start. Ephesians 5.11 starts with this. It says, Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. We may be able to fool other people with our posing, but God sees right through our fakeness, and He sees our brokenness and our fear. James 5.16 gives us another part of the remedy for posers. It says, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Accountability with other believers will help us avoid posing and be genuine in our lives. We're going to fail in our own strength, right? But honesty and accountability will help us win the battle. We also have the gift of the Holy Spirit to keep us from being a poser. John 1.5 tells us that the light that Jesus brought into the world shines into the darkness around us. And that light, it can't be overcome. Darkness simply cannot put out light. That should give us hope that even as busted people, we don't have to have it all together. We just have to surrender it all to Jesus. And then guys, we have the promise of joy and hope and purpose that is so much bigger than we could ever be or ever accomplish on our own. Guys, we aren't posers anymore. We're children of God with all the credentials and all the authority of that title. We can put the posing behind us and instead be authentic as we worship and we serve our King Jesus. Guys, have a great day. As you go through your day, though, be mindful of those poser behaviors that pop up for all of us and put those things behind you. Find someone to help you overcome that mentality. And guys, most importantly, pray for the strength to be the person that God has designed you to be specifically. We have a world to impact out there, so let's go to let's get on it, guys. Let's get to work, right? We'll see you all real soon.